Knife dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy is back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. Oh, shit. Crush that intro, baby. I made it past 15 seconds. I'm getting good, goddammit. Watch out. All right, people. Today's uh, video is going to be a two-for-one situation. I've got two offerings in front of me from Tactile Knife Company. These are, um, one is the Rockwall DLC situation. And this other one is the Bexar. Uh, but first, if you do enjoy the content, I'd ask that you would share, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It does help the channel, it does trick the algorithm, and it does help your boy to go viral. Okay, enough of that shit. Okay, um, Tactile Knife Company is a USA-made company. Um, we'll go with the uh, Rockwall first. It's a USA-made company. Uh, initially, they were known and still are known for their premium pens. Uh, but fairly recently, I think within the last two years, they've thrown their uh, thrown their hat into the knife making uh, ring. And by all accounts, they've done a fabulous job. Once again, people, and to companies out there, look at this quality presentation. So important to uh, provide the consumer with a quality presentation. And they did that here. This is the card that comes with it. A little uh, COA, I guess. So this is in Magna Cum Laude, AKA Magna Cut with a hardness of 61. I do believe, um, I'm not no knife steel professional here, but from what I've read, I think that's a little bit on the, the softer side of things. Um, I think they said optimal HRC should be 62, I think, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that shit. Okay, the rock wall. Man, I've heard so much about this knife. And um, let's take a look at it. Woo! Detent is dialed the fuck in. This is the full DLC coded version, which I really dig. Check it out up close. Let's go over some specs and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. First up is the price tag, which is a hefty motherfucking price tag. $399, baby. God damn, $400 for this. Uh, but keep in mind, it is USA made. Overall length on this is seven, seven inches. We've got a blade length of 2.84 inches, so just underneath three. It is in Magna Cut. Uh, there is a closed length on this at four inches. Once again, full DLC. It is a inset liner lock. Uh, there is some nice uh, jig pattern on the scales, on both sides of the scales. Uh, titanium backspacer. Pocket clip. This is, this is where they kind of lose me at. The pocket clip is right hand tip up carry, which is good for me since I'm right handed, but there's no lefty love. However, it's stainless steel. Unbelievable. Full titanium knife, 400 damn dollars, and you couldn't even make the pocket clip titanium. Not a fan of that. Uh, TA hardware all around, uh, ceramic detent ball, as well as ceramic bearings, deployed via your thumb studs. Now, this, you know, at, when I first uh, opened the knife here a, minute, a second ago, I was kind of thinking I was gonna have a hard time with these thumb studs because they are rather small and a little sharp. But the way to deploy this, I'm quickly finding out, is push straight up and it flies out. Uh, some of these thumb studs, you gotta kind of push out or up or somewhere in between. But to me, it feels like pushing up is the way to go. The um, D10 is dialed in ergonomically. I don't feel any hot spots per se. I do feel the pocket clip a little bit, but I don't think it's enough to um, to be an issue. They do have that, uh, I guess we'll call that medium jimping right there at the base of the spine. So it does allow you to choke up. I would classify this more as a gentleman's carry, you know, uh, size-wise, that, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Uh, let's throw some other knives up quick for some size comparison because we still got another knife to look at. Trying to keep this uh, all-American vibe going so far. First up is going to be 
the legendary Spyderco Little Native Lightweight uh, with the Magna Cut. So there you see it up against that. Next up, keeping those the same American vibes. A recent acquisition, which is uh, all the rave for me right now, which is the Little Native Warren Cliff Apparatus. So there you see it up against that. Let's do two mo, God damn it, two mo. So for right now, we're gonna keep that Magna Cut train going up there against the legendary, God damn it, Hogue Decca, version two, with the amazing original goat scales. Shout out to the goat. So there you see it up against that. Last up, Benchmade Mini Grip, another legendary knife. So the rock wall is somewhere in between that mini grip and the Hogue Decca, as far as size goes. Um, but by far the most expensive knife that you've seen uh, in this video so far. 399 goddamn dollars. Um, another thing I'm noticing here is your lock bar access. It's, 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 it leaves some to be desired. Granted that jimping on that, uh, on your lock, or rather on your liner, you can disengage it. You know, but I'm just, I prefer more, more access. You know, if they would have brought back this scale a little bit more, I, I'd probably be a little bit happier, but I'm not trying to be nitpicking here. Um, definitely would have preferred a better plunge grind there. You can see your edge termination is right up there against that. Um, you see that right there, your plunge grind, right where your edge starts. It's uh, rather, yeah, I don't know. You got at least one good sharpening out of it. What do y'all think? You feeling the rock wall? TBD to be determined. Okay, next up is the Bexar. Bexar is a slip joint. And here goes the stats on that. Jack Moss verified this in November. Uh-oh. Ugh. Lanyard. Blech. Walk and talk is, uh, it's over, it's okay. Let's uh, go over the specs on this one. First off, 299 goddamn dollars, man. I'm not the biggest slip joint guy by far, and I'm definitely not a lanyard guy. But I mean, obviously these things were, both these knives were sold out. I checked online, so people are buying them. Um, but let's go over the specs on this one. Overall length on this is 6.75 inches. We've got a blade length of 2.84 inches. So the same blade length as the rock wall. Once again, we have Magna Cut. Our closed length on the Bexar is 3.84 inches. Uh, it's deployed via your nail neck. We have a clip point blade. We have that same jigging like we did on the rock wall. Um, blade stock thickness on this one is coming in at 65 thousandths of an inch. Overall weight on this is 1.8 ounces, super lightweight. Once again, classify this as a gentleman's carry. Now, being that I'm not the, a slip joint guy, I don't have many in the collection, but I do got two. So we'll put those two up first. We'll go with the budget rendition, which is the Rough Rider Apta. That was a very popular knife. I mean, the price point on that, granted it is a Chinese made knife, so you can expect, uh, you know, cheaper prices. Um, but that one came in at about $35. Um, and it's about this, uh, just a, just a tad, tad smaller than the Bexar. Next up, which would be, would be my favorite slip joint in my collection, which is the Lion Steel Thrill. So the Thrill is, um, bigger than the Bexar. So the Bexar is somewhere between those two knives. Let's do two mo, God damn it, two mo. And they ain't gonna be slip joints. Gotta bring some American vibes to the situation. Put it up there against my uh, other little native, rocking those RGT scales. So the Bexar is bigger than that. Last but surely not least, one of my favorite little knives is going to be the Civivi Kai V Plus also DLC. So you can see the Bexar is bigger than both of these knives. Hopefully this, uh, these comparisons give you guys a better idea on the size of these two knives. Now, how do I feel about the situation? 
Out of the two, I'm definitely feeling the Rockwall more. I can see why it's popular. You know, it, it, it's, it's well done, it's USA made, uh, deploys very nicely. Um, you know, a small knife, I would classify that as a small carry. But the biggest, um, the biggest issues I have with it, besides that stainless steel pocket clip, is the pricing. I would have preferred to have seen, um, granted I'm not a knife company, so I have no idea what it takes to get these to production and to be able to put them in our hands. I would have much rather seen this uh, Rockwall 325, 350 at the most for the DLC version. And the Bexar, I would have loved to have seen that around 200. Uh, granted, we are getting Magna Cut. Granted, we are, it is USA made. So I support that. Um, but that's my feelings on the situation. What do y'all think? Are these knives in your collection? Are you thinking about getting them? Let me know all about it in the comments, goddammit. I want to hear it all. Love you, mean it. Until the next time, cut something, cut someone, just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!